Hello Travelers! Welcome back! Today I have for you this Generation 6 NU game against the Flaming Axel, aka Raymond. And Raymond is a good friend of mine and a cool guy. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Great content on his channel. And yeah, you won't be disappointed. And you'll love his accents, which I pretty much adore. So yeah. So looking at my team, I do have Steelix, which is my defensive wall and my stealth rocker. Quilava, my favorite Pokemon, yeah. Not Typhlosion, Quilava's win. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, superior physically uh, physical attacker with substitute and coil. Choice Scarf Electabuse, Dragon Dancing Kebabigator, which is my Feraligator, which is unfortunately Jolly Nature. I thought it was Adamant, so it was Jolly. What can we do? I don't even know my own uh, natures. Uh, yeah. My last guy is a specially defensive Aldino, which has knockoff. Because in this generation, every single Pokemon has knockoff. Everyone wants to steal my items! What's going on? <sighs> Whatever. So, looking at uh, Raymond's team, it's pretty cool stuff. He has a Primplop, which is amazing, and he has a Rotom with a Balloon. That's how awesome is his team, so yeah. So yeah, this is my first ever NU team. Eh, team, what? This is my first ever NU tier battle, and yeah, let's see how it's gonna work. So let's get straight into the battle! And uh, first of all, I would like to thank Caesar for recording this for me, so yeah. Huge shout out to you, my friend. Thanks a lot. So the battle is gonna be in French. So anyways, I'm gonna lead with my Steelix, he's gonna lead with his Glaceon. I just wanted to set up my Stealth Rocks and see what this Glaceon can do. And Glaceon just does that, it's wrecks stuff, oh my god, the Ice Beam does way too much, so... Yeah, try to save my Steelix for later, pretty much as a dead father, and I'm gonna switch out, switch into my specially defensive Audino, and that does a lot as well, oh my god. Audino is such a threat, so that's a clean to it KO, so... I'm gonna stay in with my... Uh, Audino, go for the uh, Protect, just to get some more uh, HP back, and he does a switch into his Vileplume, so gonna predict a uh, Sleep Powder, hopefully, hoping for the Sleep Powder, and send in my Steelix as a Sleep Powder, but he ended up going for the Sludge Bomb, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna stay in with my Steelix just to get some damage there, and he went for the Sludge Bomb again, I guess he predicted a double switch on my part, so it was great. I guess it was a good move for him, I guess, I don't know, I don't know this series, I don't know what's going on! So I'm just gonna double switch now into my uh, my Aldino, and uh, I'm gonna take this Giga Drain like nothing, like absolutely nothing! Because Aldino, especially defensive, is just too good, I think it's it's amazing in this series, so... Now he's gonna switch out and he's gonna send in his Relicant, and I'm just gonna go for the knockoff, gonna steal someone's items... And yeah, I do take his choice band out, and this thing with choice band, it's, it's just a threat, okay? The choice banded really can't really hurt. Uh, here I'm gonna avoid a uh, head smash, which is great, and uh, I decided just to leave my Steelix there as a, as a father, and yeah, I'm gonna die to the waterfall, and uh, now I'm gonna have a free switch into my superior. I'm gonna predict the switch, go for the substitute, but I guess he predicted me to set up and uh, he's gonna stay in and he's gonna break my substitute, but now I'm gonna predict him to predict me to just go for the, uh, an attack and I'm gonna set up another substitute as he's gonna end up switching into his uh, Vile Plume, unfortunately. I can't do much to Vile Plume, so yeah, I'm gonna just stay in, try to get some damage there. Uh, he's gonna break my substitute with the... Uh, sludge bomb, but then again, I oh yeah, I ended up just going for the dragon tail, and in this generation, dragon tail with Serpiri just looks like a uh, like a van vine whip, which is pretty funny. So, in comes his Rotom on a balloon, and I don't want to take an air slash, so I'm just gonna switch into my specially defensive uh, Audino, and I took the air slash like nothing, which is great for me. So. Audino taking hits like a boss. He's gonna go for the Thunder Wave, I don't really mind because, uh, yeah, I'm a wall, so... Unfortunately, I got fully paralyzed the first turn, but oh well, what can we do? It's part of the game, paralysis, yeah. Uh, he's gonna switch into his Mumble, which is his... Uh, Primplop, I'm gonna knock off his Evilite, so without his Evilite, I was thinking that I could have that I could deal with his uh, Primplop pretty well, so I'm gonna send in my Electabuzz, he's gonna go for Defog, uh, I, got, I predicted Defog, so I went into my Electabuzz, just gonna go for the Volt Switch in case he switches out, but I ended up surviving the hit, 
without the Eviolites. Oh my god, that's so good! And he went for the Skulda. And thankfully it didn't burn. If he got the burn, oh my god. That could have been terrible, so decided not to risk the burn by going for the Dragon Dance. I just went for straight away for the Waterfall. And now definitely, definitely can stay in there. Gonna switch into my uh, specially defensive Aldino in case he went for Sleep Powder or just a special special move. Uh, he ended up going for Giga Drain, which doesn't do anything to Aldino. It's, Aldino's a boss. Oh my god, so... In comes the threat again, the choice specs Glaceon, and I just double switch into my superior, I guess he, I predicted him to switch into something else, unfortunately he just switches into this Glaceon which is really bad for me, so I have definitely have to go back into my uh, Audino, because I don't want to take a hit with anything else, so uh, Ice Beam does less damage, so I was thinking that the first uh, hit was like a... Uh, Max damage. Unfortunately, there I went for the wish, but I got fully paralyzed there again. Can't do anything about that. That's how the games uh, works sometimes. And yeah, my Audino is gonna go down. Now I have a switch into my Kebabi Gator. Gonna go for the Dragon Dance as he switches back into his Rodom. And there we go. I plus one uh, Kebabi Gator. Uh, unfortunately, I'm jolly, so you're gonna see how this is gonna affect me. Yeah. I didn't finish him off, but unfortunately, I got the flinch. That sucks big time because he could have done a, a lot, a huge chunk of damage to me, and uh, maybe finish me off. Who knows? And uh, yeah, in comes his relicant, and in comes my uh, Serpier. I'm gonna take the hits not well at all, and uh, yeah, now definitely not gonna overpredict at this point. I'm just gonna finish him off with the leaf blade. And uh, yeah, Serpir got the kill, nice. And uh, in comes Glaceon, Serpir not too happy. Serpir is just gonna get some damage there, and yeah, I don't have anything to take that Choice Specs Ice Beam. That thing is a threat. Oh my God! So in comes Choice Spark, uh, Choice Sparks. What? Choice Scarf, Electabuzz. He survived, and he finishes me off. Oh my God! I wasn't expecting that at all. Oh my God! I don't know if that's main damage or. I really don't know, man. That was horrible. <laughs> Finally gonna be able to finish off his Glaceon. In comes his Rapidash. Gonna try, hopefully, to finish him off with the Aqua Jet. That's not gonna happen. And unfortunately, my last Pokemon is Quilava. And he still has that um, Vileplume in the, in the back. So, fortunately, he survived the Recoil and the Life Orb. So, I need to... I can't go for the Eruption now. And uh, I have to rely on the HP Ice. And yeah, his last Pokemon is Vileplume, HP Ice is super effective, but yeah, it's definitely not even close to finish him off, and uh, yeah, his Sludge Bomb is doing way too much damage, it's a 2 hit KO, and my Hidden Power is like almost a 4 hit KO, so yeah, that's gonna be the game, awesome battle Flaming Axel, I love this battle so much, awesome first ever a new game for me i really love the tier so i hope you guys enjoyed as much I, uh, as i did and yeah as always leave your awesome feedback and i'll be seeing you guys next time stay tuned for more content from all the generations and peace out